Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check for the week of November 8th through November 15th. This is for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I thank you guys so much for everything you do for the channel from watching readings to hitting that like button to subscribing of course means a lot to me and I will continue to continue and I appreciate you sharing your energy with me. I don't do personal readings right now. I do have some inquiries here and there. I just don't have time to be honest and I don't I don't want to get into like turning some people down and taking some people's requests. So if that should change, I'll make an announcement on the channel. And if you're new here, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. I post new readings every Friday. Then I typically have a, a reading again on either Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can just check back in a few days or check a different part of your chart too. Now I do have one week during the month that I usually don't have a reading, but I was commenting on other signs that I'd be open to suggestions if you wanted to like a pick a card kind of a reading or something else. Those months when I have one week where maybe I don't have it. Some months I have it every week though. It just kind of depends on the calendar. So let's get the guidance here for Sagittarius. What advice do you have for Sagittarius, please? What messages for Sagittarius? Okay. Sorry, it takes me a minute to get all that out in the beginning, but when I have people that comment about the time, they should go and pay somebody $40 or $50 for a personal reading and see how much time the reader talks about other things. They'll be shocked. So I figure under two minutes is not too bad. So we've got here the Page of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. You've got the Ten of Swords here, the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the World. So you have an interesting reading here. Um, <clears throat> you have here, um, we'll do an Angel Answers too in a minute uh, that you can ask in the timeline and yes or no. You have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got Earth. You've got all the elements, really. You've got a new cycle, and it's interesting, too, because nines are a conclusion of a cycle, and then, of course, the world is like a... And, and the tens. Tens are the beginning of a cycle, but the world is like... Really, talk about an emphasis on a new cycle, but it's very positive, okay? So you do have some kind of conflict here. But I do feel like it's it's like the ending of something that's been ongoing and it feels kind of like this little tic-tac thing, like you've had some kind of little back and forth thing with somebody that really culminates into a, somebody has words is what I'm getting. So um, for, for those of you though, I do feel like this is kind of a minor thing, this five of wands and 10 of swords. You've got here the page of wands and I feel like for a lot of you, you're really more focused on moving forward. There may be somebody around you though, who wants more of your time than you're willing to give. And that's what it, that five of wands and 10 of swords has to do with, where they're kind of envious and wanting you to do other things that just are not, they, they're not part of the plan, okay? And so for some of you, you're moving forward and that's how it is. And that's okay, it's your life and you're allowed to. So. With this page of wands, it's really inspired action. However, this is also too representative that I feel like the energy that's got the conflict is like one person. Overall, you've got really nice balanced energy around you. This could also be too a significant other who's basically like ditch that person, you know, and maybe they say it in a little nicer way, but I do feel like you've got somebody who really does have your best interest at heart and who's like, you don't need this. And so this person is a real cheerleader. They really want you to ascend. They're the kind of person too who's very open-minded and you, you can be free to talk about all kinds of things with this person. And they don't, they don't install limiting beliefs. They don't insert limitations into the conversation. I feel like they're very open-minded, like I said, and just kind of like, oh, cool. So with this Eight of Pentacles here, you're definitely working on some things in terms of money. You're building up money, but you've got wish fulfillment here. So, and you've got 
you've got money here a few times. So I do feel like it's stable, but I also feel like it's turning into something, an actual tangible thing. Like for some of you, I just saw luggage and I don't know if it has to do with the world. That could very well be because I thought who's getting new luggage, but maybe you are and it has to do with travel. That would make a little more sense with the nine of cups there. Um, but I do feel like too, you might be getting some, a gift from somebody with the six of pentacles and the nine of cups here. But either way, I feel like they see you as being very worth it, very worthy, very deserving. They see who, how hard you've worked. They see you, and this is like you minding your own business too with this eight of pentacles, focusing on yourself, being your best version, bringing everything you have to the table and, you know, not, um, not shortchanging anybody around you, you know, in, in some ways, like I said, there might be somebody who doesn't like it and, and wants more. But again, I do feel like you're, they just keep saying you're giving enough. And maybe that's just an important message for whatever this is, because it's a very immature energy with this five of wands. And then again, I feel like it's somebody who's very demanding and um, almost kind of greedy. And I just feel like they don't really know who they are. And so that's in the Bible, right? They don't, um, they don't know who, what they do because they don't know who they are or something. It's not quite like that. But either way, um, it's also something Eckhart Tolle teaches a lot about too. And so it's like, forgive them because they don't know who they are, I think is how it goes. But so with this, they're just telling you to let go of it because it's very immature and you have bigger things to focus on than this. So if you know what I'm talking about and you're like, yeah, there has been kind of this minor conflict. Um, you know, distance and silence may also be a remedy for it. You don't have to participate in every fight you're invited to. And with this nine of cups, you definitely have better things coming towards you. You do have a love interest here too. And like I said, for those of you that are already with somebody, there's very, it's very unconditional with this. And it's also reciprocal. I could get at that, um, six of pentacles. That'd be a nice combination with this too, but it's definitely about moving forward in a mature way and really feeling great in the relationship. There's You're not getting lost in it. There, There's definitely autonomy here, but there's also this sense of feeling like the sense of belonging too. It's a really nice balanced feeling. So with the Nine of Cups, again, this can be a gift given and it could even be somebody who wants to take you away, that's possible. Or I do get somebody getting an invitation to go stay with somebody. So if you have a friend who lives somewhere that you'd like to visit, there may be an invitation coming your way with this Nine of Cups, but it's wish fulfillment. And again, it's it, this is a conclusion of a cycle, but there's more here with the world showing up. So I feel like it's like a sort of a tier of like T-I-E-R, a tier of attainment where you're getting something else you know, for all this hard work with this Eight of Pentacles, whether, like I said, it's a trip or even something more tangible, like a car or something like that, where you're getting something that shows, you know, the evidence of the work that you put in. So, and you feel proud of it too. I mean, this is a great feeling too, but this Ten of Swords, I do feel like you've got an ending here with somebody and it may be, it might not be permanent. It may just be a temporary break, especially if it's somebody you've been friends with for a long time or a family member. But there definitely needs to be some distance and silence between the two of you because this isn't getting any better. And it's a cycle that needs to be ended. So especially with that five of wands, if it's like I said, a lot of back and forth kinds of disagreeing and it's just like you feel like your focus in life is just different it's time to step away from this person. Very dramatic person too, by the way. Um, extremely dramatic. And I do feel like they do a bit of talking, but it's kind of invalid. I mean, it's not like people really are taking it too seriously. Now with the Six of Pentacles, again, there's balance and stability here. Sixes and Tarot are about balance. And um, so with this, you also have the Libra scales here too. And I mentioned this with the Nine of Cups. This is also about somebody who's giving you something. It's possible you're giving as well, um, but it's it's really that cycle of reciprocity, giving and receiving, but feeling really good about it. It's not anything where somebody feels like 
they're giving more or in some way being taken for granted. This is really a card of appreciation and balance. So for some of you too, if you're in need of something, you may find somebody gives you a financial gift or like I said, material things, and maybe it's even suitcases to travel. I did see those. So for whoever that's for, um, you've got, in terms of love here, you've got this unconditional love coming in. And it's definitely a new chapter. And it is really about being able to be yourself and and being able to run the distance. This is a love that never dies and energy is never created or destroyed. So if you've, you know, there's not a lot here for reconciliation, but I will say for those of you that that's what's on your heart, if you've loved once, you can love again. That energy doesn't die. We just manifest. We manifest situations and, and mainly because we're out of alignment. And when we get out of alignment, we get so far away from the way our source, that higher self sees things. It's very easy to start blaming the people around us for the discomfort. And if they wouldn't do this, I wouldn't feel like this. But this is really about being fully in alignment and not, you know, seeing the best, seeing the best in people. Um, so you've got here the world. And of course, this is the final major arcana. And it really is a card of self-mastery. So it's knowing what you want, knowing that you can have it, absolutely believing it and getting it. It's full attainment. So in terms of any goals that you would set right now, you know, if you have a goal of anything to do with weight loss, with, you know, really any any thing in terms of your health, things like that, your well-being, your emotional well-being, you're open to the universe here. It's very centered in terms of emotions too, um, but it's, it's the, you know, the sort of culmination of everything that you've learned coming into one kind of full circle here. So, you can start on a new page with this. So if you've not liked 2020, it's okay. You're ready to start anew and move forward with this. Um, and she dances, you know, she's a dancer of the tarot. She dances in this wreath of victory. So again, it really is about feeling amazing, especially if things have been kind of blah. So let's see what the angels have to say here. Whoops. I'd like to redo that just because I haven't shuffled these. So, let's see here. And let's get a timeline here, please, for Sagittarius. Let's try to get some of those middle cards. And a yes, no, maybe. So you've got here success. And again, with the world, you've got the energy that moves worlds flowing throughout you. It's a very harmonious energy. And especially with the Ace of Cups too, anything that you would begin new would go well. Any new relationships, new endeavors, like I said before, new goals too, as far as your appearance, um, you'll have success. And you've got helpful people around you. So for some of you, I do keep getting this health thing. And I don't know if you have maybe a connection with a new, like nutritionist or doctor or trainer or somebody like that's going to be pivotal for those of you that the health um, is resonates. And that could also be with the page of wands too. I know I'm a little late to the party on him, but that also could be. But this can also be, earlier we talked about having good people around you and they're saying it again, there are good people around you who want the best for you. So if you believe, so really everything, the only thing that stands in our way is our ego. The universe wants to deliver to us. It's really our own ego limitations that stop it. Now, in this case, they do say wait. So with that, there might be some other resource. If you're looking at different options, they may be telling you to continue to look because there's something else that's going to come in that would be a better fit. So if it's something to do with, or if there's something with that conflict too, like I said, it might just be about distance and silence and there's really no action to take because there's too much volatility in that and anything that you would say would become a fight. That's what I get for that. 
So that may also pertain to that if you've got a dis, um, disagreement there. So they say reconsider. So again, I do actually like that with wait because the wait gives you a minute to think things through and allow a new idea to come in. So for some of you, it's about meditating. So you can just clear out all that chatter and noisy stuff in your mind and allow a new thought to come in because especially if you've been trained on one idea and focused on one idea, there might be more here than you're seeing right now. So great things shall come to pass for you, Sagittarius. I love you so much and I'll be back again soon.